Welcome back to another video here on your gold medal today. I'm super excited for this video. We're going to be going over the outside leg hook in judo is known as the Osato Gari. The three main positions we're going to be looking at is that move being used from the head and arm, the over under position, as well as what I call a reverse lat whip. The first few clips are going to be focusing on the head and arm going feet to back from neutral. The two wrestlers we're going to be looking at are all Americans, Don Demis and Chad Walsh. I've done videos on both of them before, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So, pretty basic. I duck right into it. I chose this clip first. It's because it has the best angle. You can clearly see how the move goes um, or the positioning. I should say not necessarily a uh, move, but hooking the leg right above the knee. He takes the opponent right to his back. There's no momentum, so there's really no rolling through that the opponent can do, which is why most of the time it ends up in the pin. This is all American Chad Walsh pinning the number 12 seed in 35 seconds. Pretty impressive, right? As you can see, outside leg hook goes down to the mat. Easy pin. With the way they fall, there's really no type of roll through ability. So they just end up straight on their back. Same as that thing, guys. He, he goes throw by, a slot by doesn't work. Gets the underhook, head and arm, outside leg hook finish. Takes him straight to his back. He ends up getting the pin. This next clip of Don is Don Demons and Chad Red, two All Americans. For some reason, the wrestling community, you know, we have a tendency anything that's feet to back, we especially ahead and on, we love to call it as a JV move. Um, Chad Red, multiple time All American, definitely not a JV guy, number 12 seed. At NCAA's, not a JV guy. I mean, this move works, guys. As you can see, not a good angle, but circle his leg is outside leg hook. Take him straight to his back and pins him. The next clip is of Clay Carson. This is the last clip with the head and arm finish. Clay Carson is also an All American. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, that's what the official seen. We're going to get a strong call to begin with. Good luck from Dennis. Hey, Carson's in trouble here. So in this clip, you see him start off with an outside leg hook, but as Clay Carson starts falling, he allow he allows his foot to drop, takes him straight to his back for six points. This is actually the only clip where they don't end up getting the pin. Next, we're gonna look at the over under position. Same thing, just with the over under outside leg hook is the exact same. Don Demons actually does it as a second move from his inside trip. So this is actually them in overtime. So it's a very competitive match. Goes inside trip, doesn't work. Hop sides. In the clip, you can actually actually hear the other guy's coach saying, watch him hop to the other side as well as warn his wrestler because they knew what was coming. Takes him straight off to his back with the outside left hook from over under position. Same thing. Opponent shoots. He gets over under. He shows the inside trip. And then goes outside left hook. It's not really complicated, guys. You just have to 
put in the reps to get comfortable with this position. The way Don Demis does it, the same side leg as his overhook is the leg he uses to hop to the other side and get the outside leg hook. And he takes him right over to his back for six points, take down the four back points. Next, we're going to be looking at Chad Walsh and do this move from the bottom position and what I like to call a reverse lat whip. Some people just call it a regular lat whip, similar to a chin whip, but I have already have a video on here that I call a lat whip. So I call it a reverse lat whip since they're kind of reaching behind them and grabbing the opposite lat. Chad Walsh is actually losing this match. Like, he's not wrestling the guy who he's 10 times better than. As you can see, he was just behind them, grabs that lat, and also clearly outside leg hook, have the arrow pointed towards it. Takes him to his back. I also show he's grabbing the opponent's tricep with his other hand. That's very important to maintain control. Matt return by Rogers. Now these two All Americans, Chandler Rogers from Oklahoma State, is also a very high level pinner. So pretty exciting match. Gets Matt return. Reaches back to his opponent's lat. Grabs that tricep, outside leg hook. He gets two point reversal and two back points. He was losing four to three, ends up getting the lead to seven to four. He actually, fun fact, ends up losing this match at the very end. So he, this move doesn't just work against guys who you're way better than. It also works against guys who are good enough to beat you in the match. Next position we're going to look at is under reverse lat whip when defending a shot, most likely a high crotch. And the wrestler that we're going to see do it twice is Kuri Goliath from Russia. The opponent shoots a beautiful high crotch. Boom. As you can see, he's grabbing his opponent's lat. Now, because his opponent's on his knee, he just posted his foot. As you can see, he's grabbing his opponent's tricep. Same thing in this clip. As you can see when they're standing up, he's clearly, clearly grabbing the tricep. And then now he has the, the lat and he has the outside leg hook or the social guard. Now you guys know how I am. I love showing moves working even when they aren't perfect because the other wrestler is also allowed to wrestle back, right? These aren't just mannequins, aren't just dummies. So the next two clips is Don Demis doing the move and it, it doesn't go exactly as planned. So as you can see right here, Don Demis is going for a head and arm outside leg hook. The opponent actually pushes his arm off with his hand. And as you can see, Don Demis doesn't have a head anymore. But he still has the outside leg hook. And this, since this is a freestyle match they're wrestling, he still takes some feet to back for four. But even if this was a folk style match, if this ends up happening in the match, he still gets two take now. And if he fights for control, he can still hold him on his back. For more back points. Now uh, this is Don Demons versus All American. Mitch McKee goes super duck, doesn't get over under, goes for the outside leg hook. As you can clearly see, this is not the most the best outside leg hook, not even close. But he's still able to get a takedown and take the lead. 
and Don Demons ends up losing this match, a close match between two very equal, equally skilled wrestlers. So like I said before, this is not just a move that you just put on your highlight reel against not so good wrestlers. You can do this against high level guys if this is something that you continuously practice and want to get better at. And the fact that you can do this from an offensive standpoint, right, from the head of normal over under, where you engage, where you initiate the offense to try to, try to take them feet to the back. You can also do this from the bottom position. You can also do this as a counter against the opponent's leg attacks and offense. So it's a very versatile move. Um, I would definitely start repping the outside leg hook. Thank you guys for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. Comment, like, subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Thank you.